just going to give it a quick second. All right, I think we're all set. Good evening, everyone. It is Friday evening, the 9th of May. My name is uh, Chris Paul, and I'm going to be doing Compline Prayer this evening on behalf of Trinity Episcopal Church. Once again, if you have your Book of Common Prayer, you can follow along on page 127. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, you can follow along at bcponline.org. Or if you prefer, you can just sit back and listen. It's a very short prayer service. So let us begin. Take a nice deep breath and we'll start. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end, amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name, amen. May the almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. On page 129, we will read Psalm 31 together. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to page 131, our reading for today will come from Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 134. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your prayers of intercession. During this time of struggle, we pray for all those who are struggling with the coronavirus, whether that be through the illness, through concern for a loved one, through the loss of a loved one, through all of the things that we have sacrificed, be the employment, 
time with friends, birthdays, anniversaries, senior proms and graduations, kindergarten graduations, all the things that we took for granted before seven or eight weeks ago. We pray, Lord, for your strength to get through those and to give us the comfort and the confidence and the peace to be able to work together as a community to get through these weeks coming ahead as we begin a transition back into less and less social isolation. We want to remember at this time, of course, all those who have passed away, all those who have died, whether from coronavirus or otherwise, especially if they were unable to be in the comfort of loved ones. We pray for all who have died that they may find a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. Amen. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices and that in your light we may see light and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, as we bring this week to an end, we ask for your grace that we can find peace in our time that we still are in isolation, comfort through the internet and the phone to connect with friends and loved ones, and rest in this time that we've been given. Keep us healthy and safe through this weekend and watch over all that we love. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Continuing on the bottom of page 134, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen. Again, saying together, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our prayer service for this evening. As you go out into this weekend, I hope you all will be safe. My prayers will be with all of you, especially our frontline workers in the hospitals and all of our essential workers, and with all of you who are in want of employment. I will carry you in my heart and my prayers all weekend. God loves you. Stay safe. We will be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. If you're interested in Sunday uh, worship, you can either personal message me or go to the Trinity Elkridge in Maryland page and we can get you connected with our Zoom or you can wait for that to be put here on Facebook or on our YouTube page. We will be back Monday through Friday of next week at 8.30 in the morning with Mother Anne and Deacon Frank doing uh, morning prayers and reflections. And we will be back next week, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m for Compline prayer with either myself or Brother Les. God bless you all, be safe and be well, and have a wonderful weekend.